Now here is the symbol you would find on a scientific calculator for finding the roots of a number. So notice that uh, the little n, okay, that is the number that represents the root that we want to take. All right, so that little n, if that was a three, that means we're taking the cubed root. If it was a four, that means we're taking the fourth root, the number multiplied four times to get the number that's inside our root symbol, our radical symbol. All right, and so you'll see on a calculator that when a square root is taken, instead of putting the little two for the root number, oftentimes that's just understood to be a two if you see the symbol like that. So if you see the square root symbol, the square root symbol, actually the two is not written, but it's understood to mean square root. Tonight our lesson is on finding the root of a number. So let's start by defining what we mean by a root. The root of a number is the factor that is multiplied to make that number. So for example, when we talk about the square root, we're talking about the factor that is multiplied two times, or in other words, squared, to make a number. So for instance, let's say we take the square root of nine. We're talking about what is the factor that you would multiply by itself two times to get the number nine. And of course, that answer would be three, because three times three is equal to nine. The cubed root would be the factor multiplied three times, or in other words, we say cubed, in order to make that number. So for example, the cubed root of 27 would be the factor multiplied three times, which would be, again, the number three. Okay? So that's what we mean by root. All right, so let's do a few examples of taking roots. So our first one, we're taking the cubed root of 27. Well, we've already seen that that answer would equal 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. All right, how about this example? What number is the fourth root of 16? Well, if you said 2, you would be correct, because 2 times itself 4 times would give you the number 16. And so here we have square root of 64, but notice that uh, the 2 is understood. So it's not really, it's not written, and so whenever you see that symbol on a calculator, that just means square root. So what's the square root of 64? Yes, that's right, it would be 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. All right, so here we have the square root of 36, which would equal 6 times 6. But also notice this, that if we took negative 6 and we multiplied it by itself, we would also get 36. So when we take a square root of a number, we often have a positive and negative root that would work. So the square root of 36 could be positive 6, or it could be negative 6. Therefore, whenever we talk about uh, we want just the positive square root of a number, we're talking about the principal square root. Okay, so get that in your notes. Whenever we're talking about the principal square root of a number, we're talking about the positive root that would make that number. Okay, so here's some more examples. And you can pause your uh, video at any time and then check your answers. All right, so the first example, the cubed root of negative 64. All right, cubed root of negative 64, that would equal a negative 4 because negative 4 cubed would give you a negative 64. All right, notice here we have the opposite 
of the square root of 49. That negative is on the outside of our root symbol. So take the root first, the square root of 49 is 7, and now take the opposite. So this would be negative 7 for our answer. Here we're taking the fourth root of 81. All right, so what number to the fourth power would give us 81? And that answer would be 3, because 3 times itself 4 times equals 81. So how'd you do? Okay, good. Now, remember in class, I've been telling you, if you have a phone, get that scientific calculator on your phone, and you can use that, roots, that root button to find these roots. All right, so here's some more examples. Notice this time, though, that we have fractions inside the root symbol. Whenever you have fractions inside the root symbol, you can take the root of the numerator and the root of the denominator separately. So the square root of 1 fourth, we can write that as the square root of 1 over the square root of 4. And the square root of 1 would equal 1, and the square root of 4 would equal 2. So 1 half is our answer. Okay, what is the square root of 4 ninths? Well, it would equal the square root of 4 over the square root of 9. The square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, so our answer is 2 thirds. Alright, our last one here. Notice again we have that negative sign on the outside of the root symbol. So take your root first, square root of 4 over square root of 49, which is 2 over 7, and now let's apply our negative sign. So the answer would be negative 2 sevenths. All right, finally, let's end with the word problem. Here, Nancy wants to plant a square garden. She has enough seed to cover 26 square feet. Estimate to the nearest tenth the length of each side of the square. So I always think it's helpful to draw a picture. All right, so she wants to plant this square garden, and we want to know to the nearest tenth what the length of each side would be so that that area that she could plant would equal 26 square feet. So think about this, okay? This side multiplied by this side, or in other words, the side of the square squared, right, would equal 26 square feet. So if we take the square root of 26, that would give us the side or the root that would multiply to make 26. Now, since this is not going to be an exact integer or a whole number, we're going to have to estimate to the nearest tenth. Now, on your calculator, you could get the answer, right? You just take 26 square root. But I know that, uh, I, knowing my perfect squares, I know that 5 squared is equal to 25, and that 6 squared is equal to 36. So I know that the answer is going to be a little bit more than 5, all right? And since 26 is really close to 25, I would estimate, if I had to estimate to the nearest tenth, I would say that that's probably going to be 5.1 if I was estimating because it's really close to the number 5. You know, if the area of the garden was 35, then I would say, oh, okay, it's really close to 6, so I might estimate 5.9. Okay, or if the number was like 30 or 31, somewhere in the middle between 25 and 36, I might estimate 5.5. Okay, but you can find this number on your calculator by taking the square root of 26. All right, so on my calculator, I took the square root of 26 and I got the number 5.09, and there were more digits after that, but this is what I'm concerned with. And so I can see that that 9 would round my 0 to a 1. So 5.1 ended up being a good estimate. Okay, thank you for listening. And as always, don't forget, read some books.